everybody, J and A Review, and we have been camping here at Douglas Dam Headwater Campground here in Sevierville, Tennessee. Now we're going to take a little tour, take a look at all those campsites. Uh, their brochure says 65, so let's see if we can find all 65 campsites. I don't know, I think they got some numbers missing. But anyway, we'll find out. Um, the campsites have electric and water only, uh, no sewer, but they do have a nice dump station here right across the road, which I'm looking at. And uh, so, when we're right, right on the water. So, what more can you ask for? And uh, of course, some sites have a lot better water view than others, but uh, hey, let's walk around and take a look. So as you are pulling into the campground, you'll be coming off of Boat Launch Road. You'll come down this hill and you will need to stop at their general store and office to check in. Now their general store has got um, some uh, little supplies, snacks. I think you can have um, kayak rentals. I know there's a sign that says ice cream. To be perfectly honest, we haven't been able to go in there yet because we have been out exploring all this time. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Leaving the store, here is site number one. Kind of overcast today. Here and it is, is uphill. <laughs> yes, we are going uphill. So the next one here is number two. Where this big Columbus is, is number three. That's a nice long sight. You didn't want to ride a bicycle on this one. <laughs> No, I don't think I could get the bicycle up the hill. And here's number four over there. And number five is gonna be your camp host. And they do have a bathhouse here at the end of this one. Okay, this is gonna be site number seven. And in case you haven't noticed, they don't exactly go in a straight line. So um, we are gonna put a map up. So yes. you definitely will want to refer to the map. There is a map online when you look these campground up. Yes, when you make your reservations, um, they do have a, a map. This is number eight. These are, um, not exactly pull through. No. They're pull overs. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. And that's number nine down here where the Dutchman is. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to start with number 12 mm -hmm. um, because for some reason 10 and 11 are completely missing. We don't know where they are. But all, <laughs> all of the sites on the left you're going to see are pull through and all the ones on the right are going to be back in. So right here is a pull through number 12. And they're not, not going to be in any kind of order. No, there's not really any way to put these in order. Yeah. <laughs> but this next pull through is going to be number 13. But this, this is, 21. is 21. Next one will be 14. The next pull through is 14. 22. This is 22. <laughs> yes, this is class A is in 15. And this back end is 23. 23. Here is number 16. 16. 
and we're not really since we don't want to invade no one's privacy here so right next would be 24 over here on the right there. here is 17 17 it's actually a nice wide pull through mm -hmm. So if you want to go ahead and show 18 right there, where this Puma is, and then over here is 25. So you can see the, kind of how large some of the campers are, mm -hmm. about how big you can get in these, spot, these spots. Yes. There's, now this pull through is actually, I guess you could consider this a buddy site because yeah. this is 19 and, and then 20. 20 is going to be right past it. Yeah. This is going to be a camp, camp post. Yep. 26 and 27. And 27 is yep. a camp post. Camp post. Okay. Then and there's also a another bathhouse, bathhouse down and, here in. and some uh, garbage receptacles down here. Okay, we've come down the hill and we're going around the curve. Um, again, these are not really in any particular order, um, but number 28 here is um, a handicapped spot. And so is 32. 32. So these are going to have some concrete to them. Next is 33 and 34. Okay, now these are at a bit of an angle. So you've got 33 back here and 34 right here. And you see that they actually have a really nice water view. 29. 29 over here. Should be 35. Yes, this is going to be 35 right down here. That's a nice sight. And that is a pretty sight. This is number 30 right mm -hmm. over here. Here with the Jayco is going to be 36 and you see that you they do have some water view now the water is down right now it's just the time of the year that they do that for flood control, flood control. Big yes this 31 is going to be here where the Montana is nice big site Hmm. I think that one was 36B. Okay, yes, we have a 36B. I don't know where 36A is because this is 37. Well, the, the Jayco was just 36. Ah, uh, okay. This is 36B. And here's 37. 37. Right back here. You swing around and look mm -hmm. at 37 if you want to. Yes, the, the numbering here is a little nice word, odd. It is a good sight. So there, next to it's going to be 38. 38, yeah. And for the most part, these sites are actually pretty level. Um, we didn't have any issues with ours. And now we're starting back up a hill. Be 39. 39. Right here. Very nice. And then this one should be 40. 40. And that is a very long sight. That's a nice sight right there. Yes, it is. Now we've got 41, 42, 43, and 44 are going to be tent sites up through here. Yes. No electric. So you can sort of get an idea of where those are located. <coughs> 
and we're back at the uh, bathhouse right here on top of the hill. And you will see uh, directly in front of us is going to be the area where you can park um, your trailers for your boats. Uh, your, the boat ramp is actually at the end of this parking lot. Mm -hmm. And if you take this little road here off to your right. Go back up go, that way. Go back through there. Yeah. There is a swimming area and um, a picnic area. Picnic area, yeah. So really nice area. Again, it's a little overcast today, but this is just a gorgeous view up here. And if you need to do some laundry while you're here, this is on the end of the general store. So they do have laundry service here. It's currently locked. Um, but they can open it during their office hours. Okay, we're about to start the second loop, um, but right up as you come in, the camp host is gonna be right there. And there is another bathhouse here. So we'll just come on down this loop. And this loop is 45 through 65. Okay. <laughs> we have wildlife out today. We did see a deer earlier. We did. Yeah. Haven't seen a bear yet. I'm still waiting to see a bear. All right. Uh, we're just going to start on the side here. Um, let me turn off my spam call. This, this is, is 45. 45. So we're just going to go down the right hand side. 46 is the next one. You'll see, it's actually a nice wide spot. Yeah, that's pretty good. You got a big tree right here with it. Yes. And then it's spaced out really well, so you actually have a good distance before the next site. Yeah. Next is 47. Again, you can see it's nice and wide and it's actually fairly long. We've got somebody backing in over here. And these are, what do they call these? It's like the river view sides? Uh, the right water, here? Yeah, the water view sides. Water view, okay. Number 48. Yes, this is 48. Be nice if I get them tree stumps there. <laughs> the out stumps of the way. out of the way, but this is 49. And so it turns, I don't know. Um, I don't know that I we've know seen if... anybody parked that way, but yeah, that gets their campsite looking at the water. Yeah. And then we've got. 50 right here with this red Chevrolet. Red. We may have to insert a photo here of the red Chevy Mafia that we had going on when we were mm. visiting the old mill the other day. I bet Mike would like to be in that picture too <laughs> with that big red Again, ram. Again, you can see their wonderful water view that they've got yeah. here. Alright, next is 51. 51. That's a nice sight. Yes. And this is probably the... Oh, 52. 52. Oh, it, it, looks a, it looks a little short, but it's very wide. So you have a lot of space there. 53 is a nice long spot with great water views. 54. And we are right at Douglas Dam, so you can see that in the background. Spot 55 here. And if they're wondering what kind of going around on. Yes, this is a little circle here right at the end. So this is 56. And in case we haven't 
said anything. We are here the first week of October, so it's not quite a busy season, but there's still quite a few here. 57. And, and then, then you can see where it. Uh, yeah, this has 58. One, stop right here. one drive, and we've got 58, 59, and 60 are all off of one little drive. 61 is going to be right here. Now, starting back up the hill, we are on the other side now. Sixty two is a nice big site. They are in the process of removing a tree here that has fallen, so this is uh, this is gonna be site sixty three. where the Springdale is. That's going to be 64. And then to finish out this circle, right here at the end, is going to be 65. Yep. <laughs> kind of got a slight uphill on that one. It's up a hill just a little bit. All right. Okay. Now, if you want to just swing it back around and just show everybody down through here that we just walked through. And there's your road. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the uh, walk around of the sites here at Douglas Dam Headwater Campground. And uh, this was our first time to be here, and we have absolutely enjoyed it and uh it's quiet it is quiet now we are here the first week of october mm -hmm. so um you know the main camping rush has kind of quieted down a little bit um but we have really really enjoyed it here mm -hmm. it's been a really nice stay and if you want to reserve your spot online what is that <laughs> uh you go to www camp c a m p r r M dot com. All right. And actually that will pull up um, several of the TVA sites. So if you've watched us and you saw our Pickwick Dam campground, uh, this is um, the same same management? Yeah, same, same yeah, the TVA? Same, same or, management. Yeah. So yes, it, it pulls up all of their locations. And while we were here, uh, goodness, that first full day it was on a Wednesday. was busy. <laughs> wow. We uh, done a little bit of everything. We went sightseeing. S sightseeing here in uh, Pigeon Forge. And uh, we had an awesome time. So There's so much to do that there's no way to name all of it. But some mm -hmm. of the things that we did, um, we went to the Old Mill. Yes. And that's just a neat little... Um, arts and crafts shopping area and um, we checked out some pottery stores and oh goodness all kinds of little things we ate at the restaurant there um, oh I had the pork chop yes and I had oh my um, goodness I think I had the country fried steak and it was just way too much food but it was so good um, and of course while we were there at the restaurant you went ahead and got online and got us tickets. Yes, to see the um, Titanic Museum, which is uh, is is a really uh, oh goodness, it's it's a it's a big draw for this area. So it's very informative. Um, we spent over an hour in there, but it's a self guided tour, so you can really stay almost as long as you want. But, yeah, I didn't get any footage in there, but we did get a pictures. Well, they don't they don't want you to take any photographs or video on the first floor. 
Yes. So once you get to the grand staircase. Oh, and we'll let you see that. Yes, and um, if you watch the movie Titanic, you'll recognize the grand staircase right off. And so then when you go upstairs, you can start um, taking some photos, but we were just way too busy looking at stuff. <laughs> oh goodness, it was very well done. It was, it was extremely well done. And also at um, the sort of the end of the tour, there is a huge Lego model that a, a young guy... In um, Iceland. Yes. It was from Iceland. And um, it, it, there's a video that goes along with it. So take the time to sit there and, and watch the video. It's really awesome. And then look at the Titanic um, Lego model. It's just, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's unreal. It really I don't is. see how they uh, transported that. I don't either. But, from Iceland. But, but they did. All right, and that was Wednesday. Um, now, Thursday rolled around, and so we went to Gatlinburg area. Yes. Uh, I had been to Gatlinburg when I was very small as a child, but Amanda has never been to Gatlinburg. I had only been to Pigeon Forge, and that had yeah. been years ago. But our first stop was Anakista, because we have heard so much about so it. So much. And we wanted to check it out, and we were not disappointed at all. To get to get there, uh, of course, you'll take your you get your tickets um, down at street level, or we or you can get them online, and you will take a lift up the mountain. <laughs> that is very fun. Uh, of course, they do have other transportation if you're not able to get on that, but if if you can, definitely take the lift. You will have some spectacular views going up and coming back down. And then once we were up there, we got uh, some awesome views of the mountain. Yes. Um, the, the landscaping there is just absolutely gorgeous. Currently, right now, it's decorated for um, Halloween and fall. But I have heard that the Christmas decorations are just amazing to see. But they the, do have this observation tower. Well, I was going to say the flowers. Oh. Right, right at, before right before we got to the tower, mm -hmm. these the colors that the uh, the flowers that they have. Yeah, a lot of mums, a lot of fall um, flowers are there, and it's just it's just really pretty. You just have to go see it. And then we got to the observation tower. <laughs> wow, yes. more steps. More steps. Um, we we went up there to look around some great views and it has some plaques and it kind of gives you the mountain ranges that you're looking at so you'll know you'll know what you're looking at mm -hmm. but it was really cool and we were lucky because it was a fairly clear day so you could actually see pretty well across there and then the the glass floor yes it has um like six glass panels or you eight. never walked on it i got to the edge and looked down yes uh, <laughs> i was yeah um no. But but it, it's, I mean, it's cool. You, it's definitely something to see. <clears throat> All right. Well, tell them where we went after Anakista. We, we weren't finished with Anakista. Are we not? We are not. Oh. Uh, they also have um, this uh, Treehouse Adventure, which is... Oh, yeah. I forgot about Treehouse. I can't believe that, though. We have the most footage of that. Uh, it is a series of rope bridges, uh, swinging bridges, and they're suspended from tree to tree. I don't know how long this is, but you just, I mean, it's, it took us probably 20 minutes or so, 30 to go. I don't know how long it took us to go all the way around. But, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're with, with, they had a weight limit. Eight. Yeah, you can only have eight people on the bridge at a time. Um, but it, it was, it was amazing. I mean, the tree, you were so high up. I just didn't know that trees were that tall, mm. but it was a really, really cool thing to do. And then we were finished with Anakista. And then we took a drive to... Klingman's Dome. Oh, my goodness. And the drive <laughs> up there, uh, of course, the higher elevation that you go... Yes, the prettier the leaves got. Yeah. Um, and down around Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, it's still kind of green right now, but... The higher the higher we went, the more fall colors you got to see, and it was just a beautiful drive. Very curvy, so you can't. And went through a couple of tunnels. Had a couple of tunnels we went through. Um, it was it was just a gorgeous drive up there. 
Um, I think if we had waited probably till the second week or maybe even the third week in October, I'm sure the colors would have been mm -hmm. really showing out, but, but it was, it was definitely something to see. Okay. But now when we get to Clingman's Dome, oh. <laughs> okay, you really kind of need to be in shape to do this. And, um, my shape is round, so oh it, it wasn't really the best suited for this hike. I think the sign said that it was half mile yeah. up to the little observation area, but it didn't tell you that you were going straight up. Mm -hmm. And so there's no steps. It is all paved and it's an incline, but there's no trolley system or anything. You have to walk it. But there they, is a few benches. Every they once have in a while. some benches and there are some big uh, boulders that you can stop and take a break. And I took a lot of breaks. But getting to the top was worth it. Yes. The, the, the views from the top of that Cleanman's Dome is amazing. And luckily, we had good weather. Yes. Because if it is any kind of overcast or there's fog up there. Yeah, there's fog, so you, um, that can obstruct your view. Um, you can actually see Gatlinburg from the tower. You can. Yeah. Yes, you can. From and the dome. It's just, it, it's it doesn't cost anything. I mean, it's it's a free um, adventure to go on. Yeah. The parking is a little sketchy. <laughs> uh, there were so many people there that they have more visitors than they have parking. So just be very patient if you're gonna go, um, you know, you'll you'll find a place to park eventually. It just might take you a little bit of time to mm -hmm. find it. Scenic drive on down to Cherokee, North Carolina. Right, basically we just wanted to say that we went to another state. Just want to get out and drive around. <laughs> but again, it's just like the drive up to Clingman's Dome, the drive on over to Cherokee was just, it was so pretty, you had so many, um, spots where you could look through and see the mountains or you could see streams running beside just, the, the road or just pull off yeah you could pull yeah. off and and look and it, like i said if if you love um, nature scenery and things like that just driving it mm -hmm. is is a good thing okay on um, friday on friday we had um come across a video of a brand new mountain coaster that is called Lost Mine Mountain Coaster and Mini Golf. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened they are still in their soft opening phase. So they're not actually completed with everything, but we were able to get on the coaster. Now it says you're not supposed to have a cell phone on there, but somebody managed to sneak in a tiny bit of footage. So we'll, we'll let you see what going up Yes. It was the first climb, I think. It's Yeah. Uh it's yeah, it's really cool. It's And you got a brake on it. Yeah, you have a brake, so if you need to slow down and and of course some of it once you come off the hills and, and go around you, you get a really pretty view mm -hmm. um across there. So um they said in about two weeks, two weeks. So probably right at the end of October they should have everything everything up and running the mini golf and all of their sound effects and things mm -hmm. like that should be in place so definitely check out lost mine mountain coaster and mini golf and of course no trip anywhere is complete until you stop at bucky's bucky's and we just so happened to stop here and this is the newest and the largest largest so far mm -hmm. <laughs> now next week there could be one bigger who knows but and there was two or three people in there. There was two or three people in there. However, with it being a Friday, it was really not as congested as I thought it would be. Yeah. But then again, we are going into kind of an off season for touristing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know been. if there's an off season up here well, for I don't know. Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. Probably I'm telling not. you. I know you said something about Tanger Outlet. Well, I haven't yet, but oh. I was going to. Well, let me just say we went there twice. We did go there twice. Of course. Because. <laughs> because she's the why boss. Not? Why not? We didn't stay long either time. No. So, um, but they do have a really nice Tanger outlet up here. So if you just want to walk around and shop a little bit, mm -hmm. you've got that. 
but again the campground here it's it's quiet um now it doesn't have your tons of amenities so i mean if, if you're looking for something that's just a good value yeah and you're not in town and you're not with all of that traffic but yet you're close enough that you can go to things this is a great campground to check but anyway that's it we had an awesome time and if like i said if you need a good place to come and camp away from everything um definitely look at uh, douglas um headwater campground and um all the information be down in our description and like always if you just found our channel go ahead and subscribe follow along with us and give us a thumbs up thanks everybody happy camping Way